You wouldn't think that 30 yards that way is the NEC, the National Exhibition Centre at Birmingham. But it is, and that's where I'm going, to meet a whole bunch of people connected with Valent, uh, including actually some of the contributors to a set of films that we made a year ago about the most innovative, the most exciting application of Valent heat pumps in Britain. Oh, and before I meet them, I've got to go and find Henrik, the managing director. Henrik. Hey Kevin, good to see you. And you, how are you? I'm very good, how are you? Yeah, yeah, great. I'm thinking it must be a, what, a year since we met? Yeah, pretty much a year, I guess. It was also on a lovely warm day. It was. Well, we shot the breeze, really, talking about the state of the nation and the economy and the future of the industry and, and your business. But I'm wondering now how, um, how this last year has been, whether or not there are some good signs emerging, some green shoots. It's been an interesting year, sort of a as so a UK as in an entirety, politically, economically. Yeah. In terms of the sort of the, the heating industry and the business, I think that we've actually seen a bit of a positive trend. At this point, year on year, we are up about 30% or we project the market to be up about 30% year on year. I mean, all of this is sort of in line with the kind of projection that the industry was hoping to see. Uh, yeah, three or I mean, four it's years the ago. first year we've seen that kind of increase. It's still from low numbers. It was about 60,000 yeah. last year. It's probably going to be in the 80s by the end of this year. So still lower than first anticipated if we want to get to 600,000 by 2028, which is why we need to continue to work on the skill gap, the spark gap, and continue to align all the various stakeholders towards yeah. the journey. So you cannot take your foot off the gas? No, definitely not. Hello, you two. How are you? Hi, Kevin. You're right. Good to see you. Hi, Kevin. Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Simon. You well? Do. Very well, thank you. Yeah, good. I mean, it's been a what year since you installed, That's and right. since we came and invaded your privacy and <laughs> interviewed your partner, to try and figure out, you know, which they love, by the way. Which they love. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, we always try to make it a pleasant experience. So now then, at, at this show, which is entirely for the trade, are you exhibiting? What's the deal? Are you pick up some business here. A bit of network working, um, expanding our brand venturing into new things. Heat pumps are growing as ever. Yeah. Uh, we want to work with Valen, pushing this stuff forward. Nice. Um, we're working with networked installers now to kind of help people train and yeah. bring up their oh, skill wow. set. Wow, wow, wow. We're trying to give the, uh, the Optimus model to other people so they can replicate what Luke did. So you're getting involved with other installers? Yes, sorry. If we're wanting to, or we're starting to, create a network of installers that can do Optimus level installs. We're trying to pass on the information, pass on the knowledge. Yeah. We need to collaborate to bring the markets up, but it's, there's a gap in the market right now. And we've obviously got this knowledge and we, should, we have to share it. And if I can stand in front of a group of 100 and teach them in, in the hundreds for argument's sake, then me scaling up as a business on its own would not be viable compared to that. Because I'd need to try and fit the heat pumps while teaching people. Yeah, you could share all the geek. You could do a massive geek share, yeah. <laughs> I know somewhere where we can get a cup of tea. And I want to talk to you about your journeys, actually, because you know, you, you both put stuff in, haven't you? And, yes, um, we have. Yeah. 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 How that's been for you. Listen, I wanted to ask you about your, um, your personal experiences here, because you've both, both done this. It, it seems to me that you, you sort of experimented on yourselves, how, how tolerable was your family of this? So in my, the remit of having a heat pump was, I would like hot water to shower our children at any point, and it hasn't failed yet, so I'm in, I'm in the clear. But yeah, the heating's been brilliant. The controls are actually simpler for my heat pump than they were when we had a boiler in. Wow. And, I mean, for the, any customer, that, that again, that would be just a sort of a holy grail of just having not to worry about it. Absolutely. I mean, in, in our household, my wife does not want to hear about heat pumps. So actually having something there that just works and it doesn't impact on her life, gives us the right hot water and the right eating, perfect. Well, how, what have you found in terms of um, cost, running costs since you've installed? My, mine's dropped right off from the existing gas boiler. Uh, this year was £370 spent on the air source heat pump. Wow. Energy alone. What about you? So why is an interesting so, one? I actually, before I got into this industry, 
I had a, a heat pump installed with boiler controls. So I went from a heat pump that was costing me around 500 pounds a month in winter to run to a heat pump that uh, now costs about 90 pounds a month max. And you are also in, in, in an historic building, aren't you? I mean, yes. it's 18, not 1876. Okay, yeah. Cottage, yeah. So, so old, yes. really old. Yeah. We, we stood back and we looked at his original appliances, the way it had been kiped to the hydronic side of it, the control scenario. And we worked out a very simplistic way of removing all of those gadgets and putting a nice Aerotherm Plus with his, with his normal controller working day in, day out on a very low flow temperature, heating up the hot water at night. And it works perfectly and it's so cost effective for him. We never touch it. Well, what a day it's been here at Birmingham. Wonderful to meet everybody involved with Balen, from Henrik to the teams here, to even the installers. Wow can't wait to come back next year.